Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to show you how to install a couple mods for the uh, st Twitch streamer Oxygen. Uh, and she's going to be getting a new server here soon, so these are the mods we'll be using. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to get them now. Uh, so first things first, uh, you're going to click the two links down in the description below, which will be, one will be for the mods full RAR, the mods RAR, and one was the forge installer, the latest one. You'll need both of those. And once you have it, put them on your desktop or wherever you want, and go ahead and minimize or close out your internet browser. You won't need it anymore. Next thing, you're going to run your forge installer by double clicking it and make sure it says installed client and make sure this is where your minecraft folder is and you'll hit ok now I've already done so so I don't need to do it again uh, but once you've done that you can then open your minecraft and this is a step you actually have to do because uh, it puts the folders into your dot minecraft which we'll be visiting later you'll then go to profiles and make sure you have forge selected and hit play we'll let that run once the game goes up to the full menu like right here go ahead and go ahead uh, quit the game and close out of that. You'll then need to hit the Windows key and R, and that'll open up the run box. You'll need to type this in right here percent sign app data percent sign and hit OK. Once you have that, you'll have a long list of uh, folders, and, but you want the dot Minecraft folder. It should be close to the top. Open that, uh, and then you're going to look for the mods folder, and you're going to open that. Then you will open up the folder that you downloaded earlier with our mods in them and you're going to click those and drag them all over to here you actually don't need that in there oh I guess it's in there. uh but you just drag all these over into here and you are done you can then close up open up your minecraft and it should say eight mods loaded eight mods active uh, and this may or may not be changing soon and hopefully we get a couple more mods in there so it may be eight maybe 10 it'll be around there so uh, thank you guys for watching and the next part of this video was going to show you pretty much the basics of in-game of minecraft like what goes on like how to do the pixel one stuff and so on so if you don't want to watch that go ahead and leave a like comment subscribe and go ahead and close out if not continue watching and hope you enjoy Hello and uh, welcome back to uh, my, the rest of the video. Uh, this is the Minecraft section where I'll be showing you uh, the simple mechanics of Pixelmon and some of the other mods we have. Uh, so what you want to do, if you want to learn, go to single player or when the server is up you can hop on the server. So I'm going to go ahead and go into single player and I'm going to open up my tutorial world. Now I am found a village just because it's a little bit nice looking and such. But when you first start, you'll be prompt to uh, select your starter Pokemon, and the only problem is, is you'll have a menu up, and you cannot pick the last three. So I'm still working on how to figure how to fix that. Uh, but they're the new generation of Pokemon. But you have options from Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Charizard, Piplup, and Torchic, and all those from all those generations, and so on. So the first things first, when you're gonna hop in, you're gonna have nothing obviously but your Pokemon. I've chosen Pitplup for this example, and to throw out your Pokemon to cast or throw them out on the Pokeball, you'll hit R by default. You can change this in the control settings, but then you will have your Pokemon, and it says your name, their level, and the name, like their their health and name, and I'm not sure what the blue uh, oh the experience. So then you can hit R to retrieve him. Uh, so after that, uh, you're gonna want to battle to level him up or level her up, your Pokemon, and that's about it for right there, uh, the basics, the battle. Uh, the next thing you'll need to know, uh, how to initiate a battle, it's pretty easy. Uh, let's go ahead and initiate a battle with a level 44 Arbro Arbok, I guess. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I'm going to try to run, and I died. Anyway, what you'll do is you'll aim at the Pokemon you want to fight, hit R to throw your Pokemon at them, and uh, there you go, it will initiate the battle. The battle is just like Pokemon itself, so it's very simple to uh, use, and uh, so on. But there's a few glitches with the battles, so don't worry if it looks like it's messed up, if it is or not. Uh, next thing, uh, to get po to make a Pokeball, um, which you won't have to make Pokeballs, you'll be able to buy them at the stores in the ser town server, or server town. Uh, 
So I'm going to show you how to make um, the great balls instead. And you'll need blue apricorns, you need a couple of those, and you'll need a couple of red ones. So I'm pretty much going to show you what you can do with these apricorns and how to find them. To find an apricorn, just run around in the forest or buy some red ones from the shops. Uh, like this, there's a yellow one. Um, this is what it looks like when it's fully grown. You can right click to you gather the apricorn and then wait for more. Uh, to plant one, you just right click on the ground and then you wait for it to grow. It's that easy. So once we do that, uh, we're then going to need to have several tools, which are a workbench, a furnace, and you'll need a hammer. I'm going to go ahead and grab a diamond one just because it's quicker. You will also need one more thing I forgot, which is the anvil. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and grab that and a PC. So once you have your crafting table, furnace, your hammer of any kind, and your anvil, you're going to start making pokeballs. So to do so, uh, place your crafting table, your furnace, your anvil, wherever you like. You're going to place that there. I don't need that. that, that. I do need... Um, there you go. So we had a block of coal somewhere. So I could just grab it. There we go. There go. Toss that in there. And then we cook the apricorns. Very simple. You will also need to have acquired iron by now. Which isn't too hard to do. Go ahead and get nine. And you will also need one stone. Per pokeball. The stone is to make a button. The iron is to make the base. Iron discs. You get five for every three iron. Once this one capricorn cooks, I will show you how to uh, craft the lids. In lids, can you guys be quiet? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Anyway, you know, with your uh, red apricorns, you're going to go in here and do the same thing you did with the iron to make pokeball discs, lid. Pokeball disc and iron disc. And you're going to place the iron disc on top and with the left click, attack it with a hammer. And the faster, how fast it goes depends on the hammer you use. So once you've done this, you can then craft it by putting the base on the bottom, button in the middle, and a pokeball lid on top. Now you have a Pokeball, and to use it, it's very simple, just find your Pokemon that you want to capture, fight it, and you can use it in-game, or you can use it out, like, well, out of a fight while just throwing the Pokeball at it, the chances are you're going to catch it are very slim to the ones those where you fight it and weaken it. Um, next up is healing and storing your Pokemon in a PC. Uh, it's pretty simple, there will be a... Uh, there will be a Poke Center and a Poke Mart in the towns, um, which will both have a PC and healers in them. And the PCs and healers, the PC allows you to place your Pokemon and take Pokemon in and out, and store up to a, a lot of Pokemon in them with uh, mini boxes. And trust me, it takes a bit to fill them up. Uh, and the next step uh, to heal your Pokemon, as mine is fainted, you can put them inside here but when you listen to it, it sounds like a microwave. It also dings like a microwave when it's done, so I feel we're cooking our Pokemon. But that's just me. So once you've done that, you uh, pretty much have learned the basics of uh, Pixelmon. Um, the next will be just showing you some of the extra furniture we have. So if you want us to go ahead and head out, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, comment. And if not, I'm going to go ahead and show you um some of the other stuff and one of them is i have to sneeze no i don't one of them is uh more npcs or custom npcs which um i don't want that actually i want an npc wand uh the wand pretty much uh allows you to spawn them which you guys will not be able to but you will have them and it adds some new uh some new weapons we got frost weapons and all this uh, which you'll be able to buy which you really won't need unless you're in the PvP arena which I hope to build and then next would be bibliocraft which adds bookcases tables lanterns chairs crates stuff like that 
uh, that you'll be able to purchase and make of each one of those. And you can also get these typewriters, which I'm not really sure what they do. Do they do anything? No, they do not. Alrighty. Well, there you guys go. Uh, that's pretty much what will all be on the server uh, as of right now. And I hope to get um, a map of some sort that you people could use, like Ray's mini map or something along those lines. Uh, so, yes. And if you want a list of the Pokemon that are in the game, um, I will have a link to their website of the people who made Pixelmon. And I hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the server.